Well, I grew up in Boston, Massachusetts, and uh, I, uh, my parents uh, came there. They were refugees, one from Russia, one from Germany. Did your parents cultivate your interest in the arts? Yes, they did. They, of course, never had the opportunity because, as I say, they basically were very modest in their means and came from abroad. And uh, they uh, did decide, I was the only child, that they were going to expose me to everything that was culturally and intellectually uh, important. Well, that's... my wife, of course, uh, was a uh, deeply interested in a true partner with me in relationship to the arts. And uh, she uh, had a great eye and was able to detect the difference between the qualities of any of the artists. I, I felt strongly when I was designing North Park uh, that it should be a place that could incorporate and marry the arts with the commercial. And with North Park, where you have some 20,000 to 100,000 people a day that walk through it, Right. It gives you the opportunity to do an educational uh, right. approach. How do you come to learn about works that are available, and what is the process of deciding what to purchase? Well, of course, one has to read all of the uh, catalogs that are right. sent by all the dealers, and then all of the museums and their exhibitions, etc., and uh, artists who send things to you. So. The end result is the question of exposure and going to right. the galleries and to the, uh, to the openings and to the museums. What is it that attracts you to Mr. Borofsky's work? Well, I think that uh, when I saw, well, I uh, saw uh, a Borofsky exhibit at the San Francisco uh, Modern Museum back about, uh, in the 80s, sometime right. early 80s. Uh, and uh, they had the whole exhibit full of Borofsky's Chattering Man, like this particular piece, and Flying Man, like that one, The Running Man. And then, of course, I was most taken with The Hammering Man. Right. And in other words, I felt that his ability to create figures and forms in a kinetic way. Of course, we're putting up the 100-foot walk to the sky piece now, which is unbelievable, it's unique. You know, I saw it in Rockefeller Center in New York wow. for the first time in uh, October, and I w immediately said we have to really find out if we can bring that piece to Dallas. I think David Smith, he and Calder, I think, were the two greatest American uh, sculptors of the century. So we have a number of them, but then we're working with the uh, David Smith Foundation to get other great pieces. So the daughters of David Smith, who are a part of the foundation, will come down and uh, give a, have a, give a lecture also. Why is art so important in this endeavor? Well, I think art, if one didn't have art in relationship to the whole nature of the environment, that there would be no heart and soul. That's why art is so utterly, incredibly important, because when somebody takes a piece of clay and creates a work of sculpture, etc., it's something that's totally innovative and new and hadn't been done right. before. And that's why we want children to be involved with crayons or chalk. Community can only grow if it really has an educational and art. Dallas will forever be thankful to you for your vision and all of your generosity. Well, I appreciate that very much, and thank you for this very, very nice afternoon.